Good morning, everybody. It's about 6.30, I think. I don't know. Give or take. I can't remember. There's some Christmas lights. My windshield is awful. I apologize. I'm just heading up to... I'm debating. I'm not going to make my decision until I get down to Highway 89. Am I going to Flag or am I going to Page? I did pack my fishing pole because I want to give the Tenkara fishing pole a try today, but I'm going to wait till it warms up just a bit. So that's why I'm like, hmm, flag or page? Decision made, I'm heading down to Flagstaff. I do love driving to Flagstaff early in the morning. I mean, just spectacular. I've got like the sun rising to the east. Then if you look over this way, I just get a spectacular view of the snow-capped San Francisco peaks over here. Just amazing. Just love this first thing in the morning. Alrighty. Okay. So, went down to Flagstaff this morning. Did my little bit of shopping that I needed to do. Picked up a few gifts. Now, Christmas Eve. Yeah. What am I going to do today? I have decided to head up to Lee's Ferry, which is down this road. In the, it's in the Glen Canyon Wreck area. I have a new, brand new Tenkara fly rod that we're gonna try out today. And just taking you along for the ride and yeah, look at this. Look at this beautiful scenery. I've been here twice. I meant to come back. Well, that's gonna be another episode of looking at Lee's Ferry because it's pretty cool there. I thought it was cool. I was gonna go camping this weekend. I decided not to because my diesel heater is not in yet. Trails interpretive. So that's where you can condor view here, which I do have to splurge and get. I should go here. There's the uh, Colorado. I think it's Colorado. Here's Lee's Ferry. There's Marble Canyon Lodge. Now just up a bit, um, I forget how far, not that far at all, because Marble Canyon's not very big. There is, like I said, gas station. And here's us going right into here. So it's like 25 miles an hour. Look at that. There's houses over here, right over here. Now, I'm not sure if this is, I don't think this is reservation once you get into um, the Glen Canyon National Wreck. It is, um, like I said, it's Christmas Eve. Here it is. Oh no, think there's a little pay station here. This is what it is. I already have a National Parks Pass, so I'm not even going to, well, I guess I got to go in here. Let's just say, pay Glen Canyon entrance fee to get here. But I already have a pass, so I'm just gonna keep going. Look at this. Yeah, this is where. I forget this hike down here. I can't remember what it's called. Oh, look at that rock. Cool. I gotta slow it down here. 
Well, no, that's all. Good. There, okay. We're getting closer. There's, there's the water tower. Look at this. That's cool. It's like a rock field. Rocks that have fallen down or they're red. I don't know much geology here. I'm not going to lie. Oh, look at the balance rock. There's a water tower up there. That's how I know we're getting closer to these ferry. But this is cool. Yes. We're actually gonna go down to the little, there's a little beach down here. And I have my brand new shoes on too. And they're gonna get full of sand, but that's okay. Or we can walk down further, but I'm gonna hit the beach and I think there's like a little walking path to where I can um, practice with the new Tankara rod. I'm also going to get my bring my regular fly rod too. The campground is right over here to our left. It's like $20 a night to stay there. Look at this. Wow. The water. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like super stoked. And we gotta take a quick left here. Slam on the brakes. And there's the water. We're going into the sun, sorry. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Pariah Beach. Just gonna pull, we're going to pull in and park over here. There's two people here. Look at this view. Look at the sand. And there's a little vent toilet there. Hello, birdies. And there's a dumpster here, peeps. Just an FYI. So I just uh, ran into some nice people that just got here. I'm just heading down to the end of the beach to practice. So, I don't want to talk too loud, but I'm going to have to do a voiceover on this. We're going to test out our Tenkara rod. This is the Teton, the 10.5 to 12. So this is a zoom. 
it'll go anywhere from 10.5 up to 12 feet, which is, makes it more versatile as a Tenkara rod. So this is my first time doing this. The plastic is still on here. So I did practice my knots at home. So let's, let's give this a try. Let me just get a bit closer here. So we're gonna take this off. This is a piece of cork. And this is a telescopic pole. So I did tie a knot at home right before I came. Put that in my pocket so I don't lose it. And basically, telescopic pole, but I'm gonna bring it in. Because here's, oops, there's the tip. So we need to put a um, line on it and then a tip it. So this is sand, not the ideal situation here. I'll bring around my pack here. There we go. This is, this is the pouch that came with it because I got the kit. I just didn't get the rod. I decided to get everything because this was my first one. It came with the line holder. Let's put that down. This is the tippet. And I thought it came with some flies, but I don't know, I don't think it came with, I think it comes with three flies. So I do have flies. with this one. I can see where this would have been perfect when I went to Colorado. And also up at those glacier, when I was hiking into some glacier uh, lakes and ponds, this pole would have been spectacular. But right now I'm going to break out the traditional and so I can uh, cast out further. I just wanted to give this a whirl today. Um, it's different. It's, uh, yeah, because I'm like, like I, there's nothing for my left hand to do. But this is super easy. And also, I would like to try this with my kayak. Like if I was going down the Colorado in my kayak, I would definitely want a, a Tenkara fishing pole like this. But we're still gonna play with it and then let's go from there. everybody so I had a good day today is actually Christmas Eve need more uh, practice I guess you want to say this is Lee's Ferry there we go I'm not sure if you can see the water in the background but yeah I will definitely be coming back here um, possibly tomorrow because I'm off tomorrow but I'm on a call on Monday so I just want to look at that <laughs> I'm sorry everybody just the view sorry going into the sun look at that yeah so i might just drive around down that way just to see because i know there's a fly fisherman i was going to go right here like right on the other side of that white truck but there's somebody there there's another person there and there's another person upstream that's in the water so yeah and i also need to get a pair of waders i'm just going to buy a cheap pair just to get me started yeah i'm kind of living the dream here yeah travel nurse and I have been to so many spectacular places out here. And this scenery is amazing. Thanks everybody for watching my little day trip today. And yeah, stay tuned for more, okay? And shout out to um, 
Oh my God, their names went right out of my head. Oh, shout out to Terry and Joey. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. I really, really do. And I just got to get into a rhythm and a groove to get more out. All right. Take care, everybody. Thanks.